um, for for investors, did, did, was there a sense of optimism from what uh, uh, Mr. President Bola Metinubu mentioned uh, uh, at the Eagle Square last uh, Monday in terms of perhaps interest rates, anti-people, and anti-business? How did you and your colleagues in the asset management space digested that? And um, what are investors also telling you if there's what kind of sense did they make from the inaugural speech? So for institutional asset managers, uh, for institutional investors, uh, over HNI and I suppose we deal with, uh, what's, what has been happening before now where investors were on the sidelines. Uh, but uh, I, we, we had some sort of cautious optimism. Uh, the policies of the, which was drilled out in the speech by the, by the president was very reassuring, reassuring of uh, issues which have been, uh, should have been dealt with before now. Uh, the president talked about the refined exchange rate, uh, taxation. He talked about foreign direct investment. Uh, and if you if you have been following the news, you will know that one of the things that are keeping the foreign investors on the sideline has been FX restrictions. So people invest, and when it's time to take out their funds, they can't take out. Uh, they can't do it. Uh, just about this time last year, you, Morgan Stanley Capital International did announce that they were going to put uh, Nigeria on the sidelines because, uh, in terms of the index, and it, this was because FX restrictions was uh, was not helping uh, the fate of the foreign direct investors. Also, on the on the local side, uh, what has been worrying has been the health of the Nigerian economy. For uh, the euro bonds market, we saw. Um, we have seen before now several downgrades. Uh, we have seen the December to uh, March, we saw downgrades of the Nigerian sovereign rating. And uh, this was a result of uh, the work, uh, crisis for subsidy uh, issue, which you mentioned. Um, we talked about the dwindling uh, foreign, the dwindling revenues of government, as well as the huge uh, debt burden. So, these were some of the issues which the speech touch, uh, touched on. And for investors, this was a vote of confidence, which was a sign uh, that things they were moving gradually from a more restrictive to a market driven uh, environment. And that was a boost for confidence. And it bodes well for addressable assets in Nigeria. 